So this question is a diagram question. I say that because of the graph that's provided here, right? So anytime I see a visual, some visual input provided by the question, I'm gonna call it a diagram question. More specifically, this is a graph question. So whenever I have a graph, I pay attention to the x-axis, which here is time, and the y-axis, which is here distance, and it looks like you know my distance increases over time. So let's look at the actual question. The graph shown models the relationship between the distance d in kilometers from Earth to the moon and the time t in millions of years after the present. Okay, so this represents the present. Zero time is the present. Which of the following equations models this relationship? All right, so in essence, we're looking for an equation that models this line. So whenever I see that format of question, I'm thinking, hey, I know that this equation y equals mx plus b is representative of a line and a graph. I also know in this particular case that my y value is actually distance, so d. So I'm going to just rewrite this as d equals m. And instead of x, I have t, m plus b. And now I can look at the graph and see that my b value, which is the y-intercept, falls right here a little below 400,000. And it looks like by looking at the answer choices, they're all 385. However, choice A and C has it at negative 385. And I know that's not the case, right? This is a positive 385. So A and C is gone. And I can pretty much assume that D must, I'm sorry, B must be 385. So my equation becomes d equals mt plus 385,000. Next, I can find the slope, potentially. Let's see if I can find the slope. Um, well, again, looking at my answers, the only numbers that I have for my m values are either negative 38 or positive 38. Again, because my graph is going up and to the right, I know my slope is positive. So that means, again, A is gone, which was already gone, right, because of the negative 385. But then also B is gone, right, because we should not have a negative M value. Our slope is positive, not negative. And that leaves me with choice D being the only answer that remains, and that makes any sense. It has a positive B value at 385,000. It has a positive M value at 38, and it's the only answer choice that contains both of those features. And therefore, even though I didn't do any math to figure out any of these numbers, this is the value of a diagram question. I just use my knowledge of the graph itself to figure out which answer choice is the best.